Hey, what's happening YouTube? This is my first ever video and I felt compelled to make it because uh, quite a few people were asking me about how I actually go about creating my pixel art. Um, so lots of people create pixel art in different ways. Some people create it using Adobe Illustrator, which is essentially what I did for a while. But what I found was the formatting was a little bit too involved. Let's say for instance, if I was working on a piece of art um, in Illustrator and I was trying to export that to put into something like a game engine. So in my case, I use Unity for creating games. Um, it was just a little bit too involved for um, uh, to get it right. So from there, I basically went on a little bit of a search to uh, try and see what sort of apps are out there to use to sort of make this process and make this workflow a little bit easier. And probably about six months ago, I was browsing the app store and I came across an app called Sprite something. So uh, this app isn't free. It did cost $7.99 and those are Australian dollars. However, I did find it to be money well spent. So um, it has a very cool, uh, just a simple interface, which is actually pretty reminiscent of Microsoft Paint from back in the 90s. Um, what is also really cool is that it has full Apple, support, Apple Pencil support, which is really, really handy. So you can get creative, you can draw if you like sketching. Um, it's a really cool app to use the pencil with. So what we might do is just open it up and have a look at what the app interface actually looks like. So um, basically what we have here is our files. So all of our files, all of the files that we've created are just stored here. Um, down the bottom here, this is what we actually use to uh, create files. So if we select this, so for demonstration purposes, we're just gonna call this uh, demo. Um, and then you've got a number of different functions here that you can use. Um, you can choose your grid size and things like that. So my grid size, um, my default is 16 pixels by 16 pixels. So let's just go ahead and create this. So now we're actually into the canvas view. So this is essentially what the main canvas actually looks like. So we do have quite a few options scattered around, as you can see. Um, at the top here, we have a undo and redo tool, which is um, frequently used by me. Um, and then beneath that, we have a color picker. So you can basically mix your own colors, choose them, create custom palettes. Um, anything you can essentially do with colors on things like um, Illustrator, you can essentially do here, uh, whether that be RGB values, things like that. Um, it's all pretty easy to do. Um, and then underneath that you have the pencil tool. So um, this is pretty much like the main tool you'll use if you're, if you're drawing. Um, it's my most used tool. Then uh, beneath that you have the eraser tool. The eraser tool essentially is pretty self-explanatory. It's highly used again um, by myself. Then um, underneath that you have the line tool, um, which is just for drawing lines. You have a square tool, which is for drawing rectangles and squares. Um, then you have a fill tool uh, for basically filling in any colors. Then you have a um, you have a fill line tool, which is something I don't really use that much. Um, then you have a select tool, uh, this transparent square. So you can actually select items, you can cut items, you can copy items. And then beneath that you have the stamp. So the square tool and the stamp tool, they basically go hand in hand. Um, you use those two items to um, place objects that you've cut or copied. Then you have uh, some arrows here. This is a directional tool. That you, um, that you use just to move around your canvas. And then finally you have the eyedropper tool. Um, and the eyedropper tool is um, essentially for sampling colors. Um, and then down the bottom left here, you can see that there's a sheet tool. Um, so that's just to see the entire sprite sheet that you've created. And then you have a preview tool. And the preview tool is actually really handy. I use that a lot um, just because it helps to give you um, a good perspective about what your final product will actually look like um, when you finish creating it. So, um, so that's pretty much it. And so for demo purposes, what we're going to do is we're going to draw some fries. So we're going to do some McDonald's fries to be specific. 
So what I always do when I'm creating pixel art is I just have a picture of it open, whether that, whether that be on a phone, whether that be on a laptop, that's completely up to you. Um, then um, one thing to always remember when designing pixel art is it's all about color um, and it's all about the careful use of colors. So um, when you're, for instance, like when you're mixing reds and things like that, like what we'll be doing in this example, um, it's always good to use a different um, range of reds because when you actually look at the final product of what you've created, um, it just adds a bit more depth to it. It doesn't look as flat. Um, so without any further ado, let's get into drawing. Right, so that was pretty fun, pretty quick, um, pretty simple. But when we have the product here with, um, and we're basically happy with it, um, we go down to the preview panel like I mentioned earlier and you can actually have a look at what it will essentially look like once we're finished with it. And if you're happy with that, then it's really simple. We basically go right up here to the top right hand corner uh, you can export this image directly to your photo library um, and then you can pretty much export that wherever you want. You can plug that straight into Photoshop, Illustrator. If you're like me, you plug it directly into Unity and away you go. So um, thanks very much for watching, guys. It was a very quick tutorial, um, but I appreciate it. And if you have any feedback or you want to see more, please leave a comment below. Um, if you really like this video and would like to see more, um, please like it. Um, and thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.